relining and rebasing the partial denture. Relining the partial denture is resurfacing of the tissue side of the denture base with new material. Rebasing is replacement of the entire denture base. In addition, when required the teeth may be replaced also. Although both are routinely employed in dental practice, rebasing is much less common. In both situations a new impression is required. Impression materials commonly used are rubber base and PVS. In toothborne partial dentures with firm residual ridges a closed mouth impression may be used. In the extension base partial, or a long span toothborne RPD with easily displaceable tissue, an open mouth technique may be preferred. In any case, the denture base is used as an impression tray. Oral tissues should be returned to a state of health prior to making the impression. Leaving the RPD out of the mouth or relining with tissue conditioners are possible methods of addressing abused oral tissue. In tooth-borne partial dentures the underlying soft tissue is not used for support. Therefore relining is indicated for other reasons. These include correcting an unhygienic area, an unsightly space developing after a period of wear, or patient discomfort which can be associated with a faulty base. Generally rebasing is preferred if teeth need to be replaced. To accomplish relining or rebasing, the base must consist of acrylic. In general metal bases may not be relined without laborious modifications. Because the toothborne partial denture cannot be depressed beyond its terminal position, or rotate about a fulcrum line a closed mouth impression technique is usually employed. Sufficient space between the base and the underlying tissue must exist in order that the impression material will flow into the desired areas. Potential problems with relining include distortion of the framework, alteration of vertical dimension, and poor color matching. Direct chair-side relining may also be done on small limited spaces with light or auto-curing materials. Exceptional care must be employed to avoid locking the denture in the mouth or burning the patient. To prepare the RPD for relining, remove 1 to 2 mm of acrylic from the tissue side of the base. Place adhesive on the area to be relined. Place lubricant on the teeth. Place the impression material and seat in the mouth. Instruct the patient to close. Wait until set. Evaluate carefully the impression and seating of the RPD. If using a direct technique, carefully follow the material instruction. Avoid locking in the mouth or burning the patient. The extension base partial which derives its support from the edentulous ridge must be relined more frequently due to ridge resorption. Therefore the primary indication for relining is to re-establish ridge support and the occlusal relationship with the opposing arch. If the partial rotates around the fulcrum or lacks occlusion with the opposing arch, a reline is indicated. If one depresses the most posterior aspect of the distal extension base, Elevation of the indirect retainer indicates a loss of support. The impression is open mouth. Generous relief of the denture base and subsequent border molding ensures that the material will be sufficiently thick and properly extended. The framework should be supported by a tripod of vertical support to ensure that it is seated to its original position. The patient then may engage in the typical border molding movements while the dentist maintains the tooth-borne components in their original position. Upon setting of the impression material, it is important to remove excess material from under rests, along guiding planes and clasps. The dentist should keep in mind that this is not the job of the dental laboratory technician. Receive the impression and ask the patient to close. This will allow one to estimate the degree of occlusal adjustment to anticipate. 
ensure that the partial denture seats and no longer rotates about the fulcrum. When deemed satisfactory the RPD is submitted to the dental laboratory with a correctly prepared laboratory prescription. Adequate time for the laboratory to perform the procedure should be requested. Normally the patient will be without the RPD during this time. Usually this is when working day. Adequate time must be allotted to insert the RPD. Occasionally remount casts and articulator mounting can shorten delivery time considerably. Rebasing the partial denture involves removing and replacing all existing acrylic and teeth, and may be performed if the framework is satisfactory. A variety of methods may be employed to accomplish this task. In this lecture we have discussed indications and methods for relining removable partial dentures. It is important to remember that relining will not correct a defective framework. Always evaluate the framework thoroughly before relining.